What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I hope you are having an amazing day. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at MOE 10 China beta July 1 update. So again, if you don't already know, global betas have now officially stopped. Yep, from July, we won't be getting global betas. They have just completely stopped. So we would be getting global stables much more bugless. I don't know how Xiaomi is going to do that without just outright testing it with public. But seriously, as Xiaomi says, if that's true, it's extremely good that we are actually not getting the global betas because global stable updates are actually getting like delayed two to three months like even with the security patches so I don't know whether this is the best idea or not but we would be getting all the beta updates through the China beta so not the best for advanced users but for me it gets the job done so again as you can see this is the July 1 update and still we don't have any words on the MIUI 11 but in this update we do get a very refresh settings app now it doesn't offer anything new a lot when compared to the MIUI 10 part that we usually get even with the Pi update, but it is actually new and it is a bit different. So I pretty much say in every other single update that Note 5 Pro has gotten smoother, especially with the wired. But seriously, in these updates, pretty much all the stutters have been corrected over here. Like literally, there is no stutter when coming to the recent apps panel directly from the home screen. Again, even entering the apps, exiting it is just so buttery smooth. Again, if you just directly go to the quick settings panel, if you're watching this video in 1080p 60fps, just it's a treat. Like these are one of the best gestures in the market to be honest when compared to the OnePlus 2. And then again, even if you go to the app vault and stuff, pretty much it's still the same. You get the Xiaomi AI right over here. Again, over here too, you can access it directly or you can just search. Again, I have installed the MIUI Alpha Launcher, which will be also getting with the MIUI 11. So now I can just swipe up right over here. I don't know, every time it just gets wrong. So again, you can swipe up directly over here. But now again, just checking out through the quick shortcuts, you still don't get any quick shortcuts for main of the apps like camera then again security app like there should be like clear ram or take a selfie picture right over there but you do get settings app and stuff even the weather and calculator like literally i can just do calendar to add a event so pretty handy xiaomi is adding stuff to them but then again launcher is just pretty much the same that you get again it doesn't glitch out as you see in the public beta so wallpaper api has been also tweaked a bit and then again apps are pretty much the same again open very quick for almost two year old chip then again, even if you go to the security app, there is game speed booster and quite weirdly, you do get the global game speed booster. So it's the game turbo right over here, as you can see. Now why it's weird is China doesn't get this stuff. The people over there are pretty intelligent that this just doesn't do anything and the games are not getting boosted. It's just a fancy launcher, but you still get it right over here. You have the GPU, CPU and the battery usage right over there. And then security app is just pretty much the same. You get some China bloatware like QQ Cleaner, WeChat Cleaner, Red Envelope, which is, I guess, their beta signups and stuff. You get test network and solve problems. Pretty much just nothing added. So again, going even through the camera, especially for the wired, again, nothing over here. We are not getting 4K recording or the AI camera, even for the portrait mode. No portrait effects at all, like studio lighting, even though we have a depth sensor. So again, just don't get your hopes up. This video is just for the settings refresh. So again, just directly going to it. Here is my Mi account. I don't know why it just doesn't show my name at all. Then again, you have my device. And again, if you see over here, the settings, it's rearranged. The list is much more smaller than before. So again, just directly compared to a Poco Phone F1, I don't have any kind of another device right now running MIUI. So not the most fair comparison, but as you can see on the left, I have a MIUI Global Beta, the last version. Oh, actually not, we have an update. So you do get security status on the global updates because Google actually has a control over it in China. Just no one cares about it. So again, you have system map updated, directly removed. You have Wi-Fi, then again, data usage, again, removed. It's everything inside the SIM card and mobile networks. Even though if you scroll down, your personalization is just now a complete different tab. So again, you have notifications right over here. It's not combined with the status bar. So again, you have sound and vibration, wallpaper, themes, ambient display and lock screen right over here, which was also hard to be coming with the MIUI 11. So again, going down, you have very new icons for the password and security too. So kind of like a more biometric approach right over there. Even though Xiaomi now has removed the IR blaster, like the IR scanner that we get in the Poco Phone F1. Then again, you have MIAI, which is of no use in the global markets. You have screen time, which is to replace the digital well-being from the Google. Again, works pretty much greater than the digital well-being, to be honest. Then you have special features, other accounts and feedback. You don't get this long stuff over here, like the permissions, app lock, dual apps. Me account is just right up top over there. So again, just taking a look at through over here, you have all the special settings at the bottom. So you do get MIUI lab still over here. Again, it has car mode, find photos in gallery, AI preloading is available as default. And then you have media center. 
Now again, I don't have a huge idea on it. I guess this is a mix three. But welcome to the media center. So I guess it's like their Google now. Let's just enable it and try whether it works on the alpha launcher. I guess no, it's just broken as of right now. I guess it replaces the swipe up on search. But let's just go back. You have light mode, quick replies again. I don't know what this is, but I guess again, a same thing from OnePlus where the app openly opens as a half up top. Again, a very nice approach. We are seeing a lot of features from the MIUI 11 right over here. So again, I guess it's right around the corner. On August 1st, we might be getting the first MIUI 11 beta. I hope so. But then again, we will just take a look at later on. You have Tap Plus, which is a very old service by MIUI China. Then again, you have Game Turbo right over here, which is a bit weird. But then again, let's just go back. You have apps, in apps, everything is now combined right over here, like the app log, dual apps. It's like very easier to navigate than before, which is very nice approach by Xiaomi. Then again, battery and performance, you don't get any kind of advanced features like adaptive battery when compared to the global parts, but you do get scenes over here, which is essentially the same thing. So again, coming back, password and security, you get face unlock, fingerprint unlock and password right up top over there. It doesn't say add face data which is pretty good. It's much more easier. Again, unlock with Bluetooth device, which is like a smart lock feature, which we also already have. Then again, coming down, nothing much. Now you do get suggested settings over here, just like one UI. Like Samsung has it for almost like one to two years now. And as you can see, it did suggesting me for ambient and lock screen if I'm just misguided myself. So again, pretty good, but I still don't know what's location doing in right over there. So again, I guess location would be moved out right over here when Android Q rolls out. Ambient display and lock screen, you have lock screen information and stuff. Display race to wake and double tap to wake is right over here. It's not in the display, which is again pretty handy. It's related to the lock screen. It says ambient display, but not supported on the Redmi Note 5 Pro, I guess, because there are no settings at all over here. So again, a bit of a misguidance over there. They will rename it later on. But you get themes, wallpaper as before. Even if you go to the home screen, it shows you the options for the new alpha launcher. So for example, pretty much the same. You have app vault shake to fill empty cells as before, but now you also have the swipe up option or just your normal MIUI launcher like the iPhones. But then again, coming up top, you have notifications. In over here, you don't get any kind of options to enable the battery person and stuff is still outside over there. But now you can easily navigate what you want to control, like the floating notifications. Yep, you have all the options right over here for it. Or if you want to control the notification dots on the launcher, here you go. Then again, lock screen. Again, just directly enter it right over here, which is a very easier approach even seen on the iOS 13, like for the dark mode and stuff. So again, even coming up top, you have sounds and vibrations over here. Again, the list is pretty minimalized. So again, you have earphone mode right over here rather than being in the additional settings, which is completely removed through over here, which is pretty good. No one was really using it and it was actually helpful. But then again, you have suggested settings right over here as they should. So again, no touches over here at all. It's just pretty much the same that you get since like, I guess, MIUI 8. Additional setting consists of all the toggleable sounds that you get, which were right over here, just making the list long. Vibrate on tap, pretty much nothing. So again, going up top over here, display, you have dark mode, contrast and colors as before, nothing new. You don't get the RGB bill, like even in the most budget series of your enemies, like the Redmi 6A which would be even pretty handy on the Redmi Note 5 Pro as it like sells with almost five different panels. But you do get reading mode, brightness level, status bar. Oh, here you have all the stuff which was with the notification and the status bar. So like your battery percentage inside the icon next to the icon if you don't have a notch. Then again, you are shortcut like the settings or the search settings would be better. Again, suggested settings right over here. You have full screen mode right over here again. Now there is no way to toggle the gestures. I guess only you get an option when you set up the phone. Cause there is like literally nothing over here. So again, let me just try full screen. Okay, full screen mode and full screen display are different. So again, now it's in the additional settings. Now that's a bit weird. Many of the people are not getting used to it. So now again, it's over here. Wow, everything has been moved around. So again, if you're using a Xiaomi phone, like almost for MIUI 8 or 9, this is totally different. And hopefully we won't be seeing this update into the MIUI 10, like not even the MIUI 10.5. This would be directly into the MIUI 11. So again, now just going directly above my device, all specs gets you to July 5 patch, today is July 2. So again, if you're wondering how that works, Google actually pushes out the security updates almost around like 10 to 15 days ago. 
when the month is actually to arrive so again google almost sends companies the security patches around like 20 or 21 of the previous month so that's how it works xiaomi doesn't have a time machine and then again pretty much normal stuff nothing new at all so yeah guys that's pretty much it that was my quick look at the complete settings overhaul i hope you guys enjoyed if you want me to keep you guys updated with all the mo 11 stuff please let me in the comment section below again share this video with all of your friends and tech groups it would be a lot of help and see you guys in the next one peace